Sue, thank you very much. Now, a discovery of Roman coins in a field in Shropshire has officially been declared as treasure. Members of the Mould Historical Search Society found the collection of 337 silver Roman coins. Now, they're believed to be from about AD 69 to 70 and have now been sent to the British Museum for valuation. Darren Booth is from the Society and the man behind the discovery. Morning, Darren. Morning. What was that moment like when you found the coins? Did you have any inclination how important the find was? Not at all. I mean, I found the first one uh, within 10 minutes of starting the day detecting. Um, And within a few feet, I found two more. So that's three coins made of silver and they're 300 years old or or more. That becomes instantly becomes classed as treasure. So I knew straight away um, I've got a small coin spill. um, And then as we swung me detector a little bit further around um, it just went crazy and I was turning over coin after coin after coin and then that's when I started stepping back and thinking that I've just discovered something <laughs> that more than more than what I just had a minute ago and I, you know it's mind blowing and, and Darren I know on this particular dig you're part of a group and, and some went off in one direction and you went off in another um, yeah. when you start finding something do you keep it to yourself or do you start shouting over here look what I've got look what I've got uh, the first two coins, uh, I mean, I, to, be, to be fair, there was no one near me. So I found the first two and I was quite excited and I thought, oh, well, I'll, I'll carry on searching here. And then I found the third one. Um, and then when I realised I got more signals, uh, I then contacted uh, George, the chairman. He's also the dig organiser. Um, and he came over and we taped it all off. And then we searched the area together. Um, and then, yeah, so uh, and that, that's when we realised that we got... Um, quite a discovery here and, uh. and then all the signals went quiet and then a few hours later we found one there was one deep faint signal and then uh, so we started digging with our hands so not to destroy anything underneath and then we could just see coins stacked on top of each other and that's when we stopped left it in situ uh, and called the archaeologist wow i mean it must be so exciting it's a moment like this that that people dream of isn't it i mean i, I know you're out on digs quite regularly i mean how often does something like this happen how rare is it um, very rare. I mean, I know people who've been uh, metal detecting for 40, 50 years. Uh, they've not found anything like this before. So I've only been doing it for five years. So I'm extremely lucky. Wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and any idea at this stage that the value of the coins? No, not really. Um, I've, not, I've, I've not really thought about the valuation. I don't want it to overshadow the, the history and the story of it. I mean, the, the value, the money side of it is secondary to, to what I've actually found. So... Um, I'll have to just wait and see, really. And is this the best find that, that the society has ever had? Um, it's the first hoard that the, they've had on a, on a club dig. I mean, other members have found hoards in the past of, on their own uh, permissions. But, um, yeah, I think, it's, uh, I think it is the most important uh, find of the, of the club's history so far, yeah. And, and how important, why is it so important to, to hand these finds over to museums, Darren? Well, because they could tell a lot lot from them um, and obviously it, it tells a story it's an important part of history um, I mean unfortunately detectorists get a bad name because uh, there are a handful of detectorists uh, well they call themselves detectorists but they're not they're actually thieves with detectors uh, but they go around on scheduled sites and they steal the history um, so it, it's very important to do what we did um, and the archaeologists appraised us for what we did um, which has left it in situ uh, only because it's not just the coins they like to look at it's the layers of the soil, the colour of the soil um, for, they look for fibres of leather or hessian sacks or anything like that it, there's, there's more to the eye than, than what you can see through the coins. And I bet you can't wait for them to go on display and, and you can proudly point, I found them um, I need a bit of help, I need a bit of expertise Father okay. Christmas um, bought my um, brought my little boy a, a metal detector for Christmas um, oh, right. it, it's, it's beeping all over the house, I can tell you that but when we do go outside um We've only found a little hammer so far and he's not listening, so I can tell you I'm throwing copper coins all over the lane oh, right. when he's not looking on the floor. And then I say, oh, look over here. And then he, we walk along there. Tommy's laughing. Um, it beeps. His <coughs> excitement, his face, Darren, when we find something is, is honestly a joy. But, but I want to genuinely do it. G- give me a tip. How do I try and find anything? Where, where is the be- best place to, to, to look and, and try and find a, a little bit of treasure? 
Well, the first, first point I must make is that whenever you go, you need the landowner's permission. So that's definitely the first thing you should do is gain, gain the landowner's permission. Um, but, I mean, you can find anything anywhere, really. I mean, there was no um, above ground. There was no reason why this Roman hall should have been where it was. It was just pure luck. So you never know what you're going to turn up. Um, so, I mean... Normally, if you look around old oak trees, old single oak trees, they're mm-hmm. normally, uh, in the past, they've normally been a shelter for farmers having a break in the summer, sheltering under the trees, things like that. Old footpaths, um, anywhere like old styles, anywhere where there would have been traffic in the past. Right, good tips. I will try that very thing. Um, Darren, congratulations on what has been a, a great find. Hope um, me and my son are as lucky as you uh, one day. Uh, that was Darren Booth from the Mould Historical uh, Search Society, the man behind finding those uh, Roman coins. It's a 743.